Do you remember that famous advertisement where there was a jingle? You can uh, try to recall. I can recall because we spoke to Nirma University recently. So yeah, washing powder Nirma, right? It was a jingle. Now, you should know this that when you apply for a job, your cover letter is that jingle, which will attract the recruiter to read your CV. It's the advertisement of your CV. It's the trailer of your movie. And that is where most of the freshers make a mistake. They will write stories together, but there is nothing substantial. And that is where you lose the focus of the recruiter and he will never ever go to your CV also. In this video, I'm going to tell you some tips on how to write killer CV for your resume and to get job faster. Now, like I said, CV is the later part. The first part is the cover letter. And even before the cover letter is the email subject line. What you put in your cover letter. That's very, very important. So recently I was talking to our students who are a part of JPT and Quick Scholarship. And uh, we train students for uh, job placement assistance and all that in, and interview guarantee. So under that, I was training students and I realized that all of them are writing wrong cover letters. So when your cover letter is wrong, you're getting a the chances of getting a job is completely gone. Okay, so I'm going to give you step by step procedure of how to write a cover letter. Of course, I, I can always give you a sample also. I'll try to give that sample if possible. So now coming to the first part, the subject line of the email. Now, please make sure that it is attractive, right? So if you are an experienced professional, you can always write experienced professional. But before you write the next keyword, you have to go and research the job description. Every job description is the weakness of the employer. That is why he needs you. That is why he is requiring somebody who can plug that loophole. So you have to understand the weakness of the employer here. What exactly is looking for? Sometimes they'll mention immediate joining. Sometimes they'll mention experienced candidates. Sometimes they'll mention some skills and techniques. And sometimes they mention all of these, right? Or some of these. So observe the job description. Identify what is the situation there. If it is emergency situation, you can mention experienced professional ready to join immediately, right? Or if it is a situation where they, they are looking for somebody who has experience in a particular skill set, you can highlight that. Experienced professional in NGS with two years of experience. Now, if you are a fresher, what to write? In that case, whatever you have done in your internship, if that matches with your uh, job description, you can always write that as your uh, subject line. But remember, it should be very, very precise. It should not be paragraph. Subject line is like one line, right? Five words. If I ask you, define yourself in five to seven words, what would you say? And that becomes your email subject line. Now coming to the cover letter. So obviously you will write to uh, the recruiter, recruitment manager, you can always mention the name and then the company. And then you will mention, dear sir, I am this is this, a recent graduate with uh, experience or uh, hands on training on this, this, this with, and I believe that I am an ideal professional for the job because, and then bullet points. And now these bullet points are the skill set or the things which the employer is looking for and is mentioning in the job description. So that is where you have to research the company, research the job description. Now always use professional tone and a professional email ID. Don't write Tom Dick Harry at the rate gmail.com. No, it has to be something like your name at the rate or something which is it sounds professional, right? Highlight re relevant experience. Even if you don't have experience, whether there is an internship, whether it's a pro project, whether it is a dissertation. And uh, most of the employers always look for soft skills. So if you have that, highlight that uh, teamwork, communication skills, um, interpersonal skills, um, get ready to relocate, all these things you can highlight. Showcase your soft skills. Now, next thing, so you have highlighted your experience. If not, you can always highlight your technical expertise. Say, uh, whatever is your technical expertise that demanded in the GD, if it is matching, so you write HPLC. So you don't write paragraphs, you write bulleted points and write four to five bullet points. That's all. Four to five bullet points which catches the attention of the employer. And you have to know this that when people are contacting you, I'll just take out my mobile and show you. So this is my mobile. When you send me a CV, I will most probably look it on a mobile, right? So in the first, as soon as I saw, if I can see what are the keywords, I will start it and then I will review it later. This is how most of the recruiters in HR are working. So they, they'll get your email in this uh, inbox. 
they will look into the mobile and the first four lines itself all the keywords are nicely written in, a, in the word format and it has to be bulleted you, they will just highlight it and next day they will go and shortlist you and they will call you okay this is how it works because recruiters work 24 7 they will not uh, you know go to office and then work 24 7 the moment cv is, is hitting their inbox they will see star it if they, that is important and then they will next day they'll call you right or the same day they may call you so this is how you have to do now remember you have to tailor make your cover letter you have to showcase your talent but according to the company it is an advertisement right suppose i am trying to sell horlicks to you so how do you uh, buy Horlicks, right? I will say, see, we are a very big company and we have these many branches. We also manufacture Horlicks. Would you be interested to buy? You'll be like, no. Instead, if I say, see, you know, you need a health drink and we have the best health drink, drink in the market recommended by doctors. I think you should take it. It has got these many vitamins you'll buy the same way when you are going to write the cover letter don't write stories instead just be precise bulleted points and go in and hit the target you are going to get it whether you are a fresher or experienced professionals this these killer uh, tricks which i told you is going to help and if you are interested to get more tricks from me you can join our whatsapp group uh, for job assistance and placement training and of course interviews also we will arrange for you so you can the link is given in the description you can always join and remember cover letter is your advertisement your recruiter will not open your uh, re resume if you do not write the right cover letter so with these thoughts thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye